I decided to make a fall themed gnome that was holding a pumpkin. So I have, uh, let's see, so he's going to look like that basically. No stripes on the hat, but that was my inspiration. So the hat will go there. I think the easiest thing is to put the nose in first on the hat. So those are the feet. Um, actually, those are the hands. These are the feet. That's the pumpkin, which I need to adjust the disc because it didn't quite, um, the stem was a little too narrow and then it didn't extrude. Uh, like it doesn't have enough of a stem. Like it just didn't, couldn't come through the extruder well enough. So I'll have to go adjust that on the disc, which not a big deal. So I'm going to just kind of, okay. Paint some distilled water in there again, just so they will adhere without any issues and so they won't come apart. And I'm going to place the nose in there, just gently push that in. Okay, I'm being gentle, you don't want to push too hard because I don't want to deform the bottom part of this. But this nose fits in pretty easily. It just slides right into spot into its spot. Okay. So there's the nose. Now the pumpkin, which you can see just doesn't have enough stem, but that's fine, I'll make it thicker next time. And the hands will go on the side. It's going to go in here. Now I'm going to attach the hands first and then insert it because I think that will be a whole lot easier. So let's see. Hands. some water and then I'm just gonna try to gently attach the hand so one side and then put the hands on the other side and then I will put it into the beard. Okay, so now that should fit right into there. I don't know if you can see. So I will again just paint some water. And slide that in. I said the pumpkin isn't the stem isn't quite thick enough, so I might have some, a little gap. We'll see if I can kind of squish it together. But I just need to redo the disc. Um, that's actually fitting okay. I'm surprised. Oh, shoot.
Is that awful? Okay. Now, I'm going to attach the feet before I attach the, be the bottom half of the beard to the top half of the beard. The feet are not interchangeable. There are two spots, or two discs for the feet. So, I have to find the correct groove. Make sure I put the right foot on. Let's see, is that the right way it goes? That's... My beard does not... Like, it doesn't cover the hand completely. Um, like it does in that inspiration. I'm trying to figure out if that's the right way. Yes, so the longer part of the beard is here, which means this foot, there's one foot that has a groove in it, which I don't know if you can see that one right there, should fit into this little groove right there. Just gently sliding it into the groove. And then the other foot goes obviously on the other side. And it too kind of has a little groove spot. So one is a notch and one is just like right there on the bottom where it slides in. See, right there, it just kind of fits in. This one does not, it's like not as pronounced a groove that you're putting it into. It's just kind of where it lines up is at that beard element, like that little groove in the beard. There's not something like this one has a notch. It actually slides into this one. You just line up the edges of the foot and the beard to position it in the right spot. Again, the tricky part of this is it's not a mirror image. Ooh, my foot's sliding. Oh, I have to be careful. Um, so you, you have to make sure that you have all the pieces lined up in the right direction, otherwise it won't fit together properly. So that's, that's the hardest part of this design is making sure you have everything lined up correctly. When you are extruding this, the disc, I've said this before, one has a scratchy side, one has a smooth side. Extrude them all from the same 
side. So if you are, like I made sure that the soap was extruding this way and all my discs were faced that way when I put them into the extruder. It, you can do it the other way. You just have to make sure that you're consistent. That way you know everything will fit together. That's the goal. And, oh shoot, oh, shoot, I just squished the foot. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get... <laughs> the beard to cover the hands, because it should. Um, and I think I just put this one on backwards. The extra little piece and my foot's falling off. That's okay, I'll go back and fix that. I've squished the foot a little bit. Okay. I squished the beard a little bit too. So the reason why I put the foot on first is because I wanted it to so I had somewhere to push so I didn't completely flatten the beard. Because otherwise if you tried to, oh shoot, to push the pieces together, um, you wouldn't have had a flat surface and you would have ended up squishing this element right there. Okay, finally we have the hat. Let's see how this comes together. Again, trying to push down but be gentle as I push. Okay, I did squish some elements, the feet. And I definitely, see how I don't have all of that white meeting up I might extrude a really tiny thin bit and just put it in there and smush it in. And you see how I did not, I put this one on wrong. <laughs> Despite all my paying attention, I, I had that last little element, I have them reversed so they're not on the right side. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. But, oh my gosh, this foot. should have let the foot dry. That's what I should have done before I started trying to add the other elements. I should have just let it dry on there so it wouldn't keep sliding around. Well, let's cut this and see what we have. And there goes the foot. Oh my gosh, the poor foot. The foot is a little deformed. Can you see? He's holding a pumpkin. I think it's cute. I think when I put it in the soap, it will look better too. Uh, I need to let the foot dry. <laughs> I'm pulling it off. Uh, again, this is an advanced disc as well. Um, like my pirate ghosts, putting these elements together um, definitely takes a little bit of time, patience, and some skill. But yeah, there you have it. I think it's super cute. I'm excited to use him in a soap. Next time I might do the hat different from the pumpkin. I did them all the same color. I wasn't sure how it would look. And... I think um, 
I think it would have been a little bit better, like, or even if I just had the pumpkin a darker orange or something, but that's okay. It's cute. You learn as you go. Now I get to make soap with these.